What's up guys, it's uh, JP uh, from New England Cop Chases uh, in NewEnglandCopChases.com and at Facebook. Um, if you all know, um, I was arrested Saturday night um, for filing a complaint on a uh, Detective Brown of the Manchester, New Hampshire Police Department. A lot of people don't go to our webpage, so I figured I'd make a video to update everybody. Um, I, I did get an attorney, um, and the three lawyers that I spoke to said it's absolutely absurd. Um, and similar cases have been won in New Hampshire Supreme Court. When you file a complaint, even if you lie, which I did not, um, it's under free speech. So, you know, it, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's legal to lie in, in America. Um, it's not against the law. But we filed a complaint on a video called Detective Douche. Um, if you look that up on the YouTube channel, um, he basically hindered the right to record. He pushed me in an unsafe distance and an unreasonable distance. So I filed a complaint and that video is on, on video too. There was a lot of personal info given in that video so I didn't post it publicly. Um, but uh, basically I filed the complaint on Detective Aaron Brown of the uh, the Manchester Police Department. I want to ask all my fans and, and spread the word around about the arrest, about Aaron Brown of the Manchester, New Hampshire Police Department. Do a call flood, file complaints, call the, the state attorney's office, the county attorney's office, the attorney general's office. Do whatever you can do because this needs to be nipped in the butt right now. Um, and I'm just calling all my fans uh, and all the people that are subscribers on, uh, on my YouTube channel to help me out. Uh, there's a lot going on. Uh, my uh, arraignment date is on June, June 23rd. Um, so, you know, coincidentally, um, Chris Wade, another New England cop chaser, um, my uh, partner, my, my partner uh, other than David Jurist uh, and those two, um, he was arrested at the DUI checkpoint about a month ago in Manchester for filming. Um, so it looks like Manchester Police Department have it out for us, and they've done this before. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the toddler video where it said uh, Manchester toddler cops hinder recording, and um, that's another big video where I was surrounded by undercovers from their ghost unit. Um, I just found out uh, the the um, the complaint that I filed was with a Sergeant Sanders. Sergeant Sanders in the meeting said he he doesn't have any bias towards uh, Aaron Brown, but I just found out it was that Aaron. Aaron is under him and Sanders is his immediate boss and they've been working together for over 14 years. They've been at cookouts together so it's a complete conflict of interest. Um, but I want, to, uh, I want to basically just update everybody on that. Uh, but anyways, with Chris Wade, Wade's arrest at the DUI checkpoint a month ago, it's a huge coincidence that both of our court dates are on June 23rd. So. Um, it, it should be interesting that having two New England cop chases there for two violations of the press, two violations of free speech, massive violation of interference uh, with the press and hindering the right to record. Um, I just want to update everybody. Please stay tuned for follow-ups. And, and if I was you, go to NewEnglandCopChases.com, read the full story. And every story on there is actually really good lately. Um, and uh, you can basically uh, see a whole breakdown of where it started, how it began, how it's going to end up, and so forth. Um, I have a meeting with the attorney on Friday. Um, this, this attorney happens to be the winner. Um, he, he won a ton of cases in New Hampshire Supreme Court. And he's most recently win, won against the city of Keene. Um, he represented Free Keen and a bunch of the Free Staters there and a bunch of Liberty activists there because they were sued by the city of Keene for uh, feeding meters um, uh, ahead of the, uh, the meter mates. And uh, he represented the Robin Hood of Keene. So if, uh, you know, if he's going to represent me, it looks like he's interested in the case. Um, we'll find out. I know WMUR Channel 9 is interested because they called me yesterday morning. And the, the video seems to be going viral. It's got like over 8,000. Uh, let's see if it's got, um, let's see. It's got, uh, it's got, um, it's got 8,828 views. And it was uh, posted not even a day or two ago. So, um, 
So that's actually really good. A lot of people have seen it and they know what, what's, what it's going to be about. So I want to say peace. Um, please stay tuned and follow up. And please, I'm asking fans to make, make complaints, file complaints, call the city of Manchester, make big noise about this because police do not have a right to start a war with people having a right to record or to go after them, watch them, follow them, and make sure they're, they're accountable for everything that they do. And all of a sudden, these guys are coming after all our people in little ways, you know, trying to invoke laws to try to stop us from recording. So make a lot of noise, people. And uh, please hit a like and subscribe. JP, I'm out.